Good evening, Janet. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Nothing. Um, are you? I'm just doing well, thanks. Okay, teacher. So how was work today? What? How was work today? Fine, teacher, fine, all, all good. E and you? Well, it was good too. I had training all the morning and that was it. So ah. yeah, it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, teacher. Good evening, Carlos. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm tired. Tired? You had to work yeah. today? Yes, um, work today. Um, shopping the supermarket. Oh. Um, I'll meet um, school um, six um, children, uh, seven children oh. uh, online. The my son's school. Oh yes. Quite a busy day. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Good evening, Tamara. Uh, Hi. How are you? Uh, good. Uh, fine. All right. I know. <laughs> Excellent. How was your day? <laughs> um, Normal, uh, yes, it's normal. No, I don't have class today, only this. Okay. But yes, it was okay. <laughs> All right, that's nice. Did you have any time to yes. work in a platform? Yes, I'm working the platform. The platform. Uh -huh. Great. Um, uh, now I, uh, I don't know what you say. Uh, we're in the section five, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're in section five already. Great. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. Excellent. Good evening, Selena. How are you? Very good. So how was your day? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Excellent. Very good. Did you have to work today? Okay. All right. Teacher, tell me. Um, finish uh, section four. Uh, is this weekend? Yes, exactly. So today we are going to study the irregular verbs in order to finish with section number four. And by the weekend, you should finish with that. Okay, whole okay. section four. And next week, we continue working in section five because we are oh. finishing on Friday, right? Okay. Yes. I, I I know I know work platform today. Oh, you haven't worked in the platform, but you are in section I, four. I'm working. Oh yes, uh, for okay. for for eleven. All right, that's nice. Four point eleven. See. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. You're almost done. Just missing a couple of exercises. Okay. Okay. Thanks. And you, Janet? How are you doing? How are you doing with the platform? Now, I don't work in the platform more, but today it's more. <laughs> I, uh, I try to, to complete the section four. Mm -hmm. All right, that's nice. Eso planeo. <laughs> what happened? Eso planeo, le digo. Oh, es, you plan eh, to do it? Terminar, okay. ajá. Sure. Bueno, se des okay, that's fine, excellent. So um, 
How about the past? Have you understood what we have studied? Do you have any doubts, any questions about it? No questions? ¿Cómo creen que vamos con el pasado? No sé si tenemos alguna consultita, algo que quisieran reforzar. No, teacher. Bueno, en mi caso pienso que solo es de estudiar un poco más y reforzarlo, ¿verdad? Exacto. Pero... Ok. Más práctica, más falta. Mm -hmm. En mi caso. Yes. Yes, you should keep on practicing the verbs, especially, and, well, that's it. Okay, so I think we're ready to start then. Let me just share my my presentation. Okay, so welcome everybody. We are going to start with a little game. This game is called charades. So what are we going to do? Well, I am going to send a sentence to one of you then that person is going to have to mime it, okay? Just do whatever with your hands, gestures, and just whatever, but not talking, okay? Not talking. And then the others have to guess the sentence, okay? And the sentences are in the past. Yes? For example, let's try this one. Mm -hmm. So you have to guess the sentence. Let's see. Let's see if I can, let's see, like. <laughs> oh. What did I eat? <laughs> Oh, I eat pizza. Great. That's what you have to do, okay? I ate pizza. Very good. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to send this sentence in the chat to one of you, okay? Okay, let's see, Selena, you got it. Let's see how we do with that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So, any ideas? <laughs> any ideas, guys? We have to try to guess the sentence. Tenemos que tratar de adivinar la oración que Selena nos está miming. Okay? So, let's try again, <laughs> Selena. Okay, so that would be like. Que está pensando en su husband. Husband, su firm. What is it? <laughs> yes, no. No idea. The boyfriend? And no. No tanto en boyfriend, sino también. Podría ser. <laughs> okay, so we started with the subject we, okay? The sentence okay. starts with the subject we, okay? Then continue, Selena. We? No, okay. Don't worry, let me change the sentence then. 
Okay, this one's pretty easy. There you are, Selena. That one is easier. Yes? Oh, you have to mime it. Tiene que hacer mímica, gestos, um, lo que sea, menos hablar. Para que nosotros podamos eh, decir la oración, adivinar la oración. Yes? Sí. Así como usted hizo conmigo cuando yo les hice las señas de I, right? Eight. And then was pizza, right? So that's what you have to do too. You have to mime it. Ahora y lo voy a hacer con mis oraciones. Con la última que le envié. Con la última. Yes. Oh, okay. Let me grade in Spanish then. There you are. Mm -hmm. Any ideas about the sentence? Good brush. Okay, yeah, you're close. So it's a whole sentence. It's a complete sentence. See, give a, a brush the, the teeth, pero es una oración completa. So pay attention and try to guess it. We brush the teeth. Great, Janet, you got it. We brushed our teeth. Excellent. Okay, let me send one to Janet now. Okay. Oh, Janet, can you turn on your camera if I send you a sentence? Yes. Okay, that's fine. Thanks. Okay, there you are, Janet. Mm -hmm. Any ideas? Take a shower? No. Right? Mm -mm. With dance? Dance. Dance, uh huh. You, 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 you dance. Your dance. She danced. She danced. And we're missing the compliment. Let's see. She danced. Oh, she did. We? Oh. She did dance. It, they. They. She, no, it's they with dance she. or we dance. Okay. In the so, party. All right. I'll take it like that. She danced a lot. It was. She danced a lot. That's why Janet did this, right? A lot. A lot. Okay. Pretty good. Thanks, Janet. One more. Okay. So this one's going to be for Carlos. <laughs> okay, there you are. Um. Idea? 
Nosotros escuchamos música. Yes. Uh -huh. How do you say that in English? <laughs> It's a good question. We are, we are listening. Music. Okay, they yeah, listen, listen, but it's not to music. It's oh. they. They, yeah, it goes they. They. They, they listened. Mm -hmm. Any ideas? They listen the radio. Oh to the yes. radio. Yes, yes. Excellent. They Excellent. listen to the radio. Okay, very good. Thanks, Carlos. All right, so that was nice. Now let's continue by talking about the ED pronunciation, okay? So first of all, I am going to share the video with you. Let's pay attention to what Mr. Science explains. Verbs end in t. Just a question, is it blurry again? Siempre se... Yes. Okay. So let me try this way. Let's see if it helps. How about again? Uh, how about now? I mean, be yes, better. Sure. Yes. Better? Okay. <coughs> All right. So let's listen. Worked. Watched. These verbs end in. D. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. In order to understand when we'll have a T, D, or id sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn, watch, watch, turn, turn. watch, turn. Watch, turn. Can you try it? Put your fingers on your Adam's apple, on your throat, and then say, watch. 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 Turn. Watch. Turn. Turn. Okay, when we say watch, do we feel any vibration? Watch. Do we feel vibration? Siente vibración al decir yes. watch? Yes, watch. Are you sure? No. No, watch. no. Yeah, you watch. shouldn't. Watch, watch. What? No um, vibration, right? But when you say turn, 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 then you feel vibration, right? Turn. Al decir um, turn, si sentimos vibración. Al decir turn. Watch, turn. watch, nothing, right? Watch. So let's listen to the explanation. Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. This is called a voice sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it. Whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound, for example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Len has D sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following this particular sounds. 
these sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Help. Please repeat after him. Helped. Looked. Watched. Watched. <laughs> laughed. Breathed. Kissed. <laughs> danced. Left. Fixed. Breathe. The following danced. consonants Fixed. have <laughs> voice sound. L. N. R. G. V. S. W. Y. Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called. Cleaned. Offered. Called. Damaged. <laughs> Love. Offered. Used. Damaged. Followed. Love. Enjoyed. Used. Amazed. Followed. Enjoyed. Amazed. Okay, pretty good. So that is what we have for the ending sounds of the verbs in the regular in of the regular verbs in the past. So um, first of all, the easiest one is the sound id. So that one is for verbs that end in the sounds t or d. For example, want want termina en sonido t, right? Want. Then I need the sound it wanted wanted. Then I have need. It ends in d. And I add the sound it once again, and it it comes up as needed needed. So we have wanted needed. Repeat please. Wanted needed. Wanted needed. Need. Okay, excellent. So the the ending it is for verbs that end in the t or d sound. Esta terminación será para los verbos que terminan en sonido de t o de d. Okay? Want, wanted, need, needed, land, landed. Okay? Paint, painted. And then for the other one we have the ending sound and we have all of these ending sounds y eso aplica para todos los verbos que terminan en estas combinaciones de sonido for example help help que termina en p. then we say helped helped look with k sound looked and we have washed, 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 loved, breathed, kissed, kissed, danced, danced, fixed, fixed. Okay, a third sound we have is d, d. And that one is for this ending sounds. We have, for example, the sound L, cold, 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 cleaned, cleaned, offered, offered, damaged, damaged, loved, loved, used, used, followed, followed. Follow, Hello. follow, follow, oh, followed. Sorry, if it was follow, follow, follow. follow. followed, followed, followed. Hello. Okay, enjoyed, 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 enjoyed. Amazed. amazed, amazed. Okay, so that is what we have for the ending pronunciations of the ver the regular verbs in the past. Now let me get back to the presentation.
So here I have some other examples for the ending D. Can you repeat that, please? D. 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 Enjoyed. 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 Planned. 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 Okay, then we have the sound t. As in the verb finished, 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 fixed, 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 fixed. Okay, and then what we were practicing with the voiceless and voice sound. ¿Por qué en el video nos explicaba eso de, de voiceless y voice y que toquese la garganta si vibra y no vibra, verdad? So that is a simple um, explanation for how to choose the ending sound of the verbs. Eso sería para explicar el sonido final del, del verbo cuando agregamos ed. Por ejemplo, cuando pronuncia enjoy, enjoy. Joe. Enjoy. 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 En cambio, al decir t, t, can you try it? We feel nothing, right? No se siente nada, no vibration. As when we say finish, 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 and then finished, finished, finish, finish, fix, 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 fix. Ok, entonces naturalmente seguimos el último sonido del verbo. Por ejemplo, acá en estos verbos tenemos sonidos que son voiced. Se siente la vibración. De igual forma vamos a agregar este sonido porque naturalmente va con la misma vibración. En el caso contrario, cuando no sentimos vibración, se utiliza este sonido al final. Ok, eso nada más para que tengamos una idea, ok. And then the easiest is it, right? El más fácil sería it, que ya sabemos que va con las terminaciones t and d, right? Para los sonidos que terminan en t y en d. Like start, started. Repeat, please. Started. 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 Painted. Started. Painted. 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 Okay, pretty good. So now let's practice by classifying the verbs based on their ED sounds. So I need you to get um, some paper or your notebook and a pencil or pen. And I need you to copy the three sounds. This is what we are going to do. I am going to read some verbs and you are going to classify them according to their ending sound. Voy a ir leyendo algunos verbos, los vamos a ir colocando en el sonido que creemos que llevan al final. Ok? Ready? All right. All right. So the first one is boot, boot. T, T. Boot. Boot. Okay, so you write them. Los pueden escribir, eh, si tienen cuadernito, una paginita por ahí. You can write them, and at the end we are going to check all together, okay? Los clasificamos y luego revisamos juntos. So okay. let's try to do it this way. All right, the first verb is boot, boot. 
Si algún verbo necesitan que lo escriba, me avisan, ¿ok? Sí, puede escribirlo porque... Sure. Ok, so it goes like this. Booked. Booked. Ok, then we have worked. 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 Mm -hmm. We got booked and worked. Worked. Next one is listened. 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 Okay. Then we have looked. 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 Our next one is helped, helped, helped. helped. Then we have planted, planted, planted. Next one is wanted, wanted. Wanted. Okay, the next one I have is started. 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 Okay, then we have remembered. Oh, let me just erase this. So we were in remembered, remembered. Then we have the verb moved, moved, moved. Trained, trained. Then we have developed, developed. Next one is played, played. And the last one, rained, rained, rained. Okay. So now it's time to check. Let's see if you classify them in the right way. Let's see. First, we did D ending. We have listened, listened. Also, we have remembered, remembered. Moved, moved, trained, trained, and played, played, rained, rained, and that's it for the D, right? Did you have it like this? ¿Los habían clasificado así? No. <laughs> Not really? Okay, don't worry. Don't worry, it's just a practice. So, so it's fine. We have listen, remember, trained, played, and reigned. Now let's check the verbs that go with at the end. We have booked, booked, mm -hmm. walked, walked, looked, looked, mm -hmm. helped, helped, 
developed, developed. Okay, so how about these mm -hmm. verbs? Did you have them like that? Si los habíamos clasificado así? Yeah, I, I have, I have <laughs> three. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Okay, very good. Buku. Okay, Buku. and then we have the verbs that end in it, like planted, planted, wanted, wanted, and started. I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, any questions about any of the verbs? Do you know the meaning of all of them? ¿Conocemos todos los verbos? ¿Tenemos preguntas de alguno? Ahí, pues, José nos da la hora de poder decir ahí. Juan, ¿qué es cantar? Sorry. Um, guys, could you please turn off your microphone if you are not participating now? Do you have some background sound? Okay, let me do it here. Perdón por silenciarlos, pero eh, se nos escucha mucho ruido. Entonces, solamente cuando necesita participar, enciende el micrófono, please. So, I was asking you if you had any questions about any of those verbs. Any questions? Planted eh, is es plantar o... Yes, okay. yes, plantar. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also, do you know the meaning of this one, booked? Yes, no. What the meaning of the book? Okay, the meaning of booked is, for example, when I book a flight, I book a flight, like I'm going to travel to the US. So I go to Avianca's um, webpage and then I book my flight. Yes? Or also when I need a hotel, well, in the same trip, I'm going oh, to stay oh. there in Washington. So I need a, a hotel in Washington. I go and look for hotels in Washington and I book one of them. Yes? Como hacer una reserva, right? Book. And this verb, developed? Develop. Yes? That is? No. Desarrollar. For example, I developed the topic. Yo desarrollé el tema, right? I developed the topic. Yes? How about the verb trained? Viajar? No. Viajar is travel. Entrenar. Exactly. Entrenar. Train, trained, entrenar. Entrenado, right? Yo he entrenado, something like that. And then we have the verb remembered, remembered. Recordar. 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 Okay, pretty good. Now repeat after me. Listened. 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 Remembered. Remember. Moved. Moved. Trained. 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 Played. 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 Rained. 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 Okay, now say booked. 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 Walked. What? 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 Looked. 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 Helped. 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 Developed. 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 Planted. 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 Wanted. 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 Started. 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 Es importante el sonido de la S. Started. 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 Started.
started. started. Okay, started. well done. Excellent. So now let's continue by talking about this. Well, we have another lesson objective. It says by the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using irregular verbs. So let's see what we have. So first of all, I have some verbs mm -hmm. that we find in the video. If you have watched the video, los que ya vieron el video encontraron estos verbos, ¿verdad? So we have sí. do, that becomes did in the past. Mm -hmm. Then the past of get up is got up. The past of go is went. The past of meet, met. Then we have come, came, and have had. So what's the idea behind the simple past for the irregular verbs? Well, they change, okay? There is no rule to follow. There isn't any clue on how to change them, but they just change. So all what we have to do is to practice them and try to memorize them. En el caso de los verbos irregulares, no hay realmente una regla para decir que este se cambia de esta forma o el otro de la otra, ¿verdad? Entonces, la única forma de aprenderlos es practicarlos tanto como se pueda y pues irlos memorizando, ¿ok? Porque si se fija, eh, van cambiando, algunos se parecen a la forma de, del presente, otros cambian bastante, como en el caso de go, went, right? They change, meet, met, it's kind of similar come, came, cambia en una sola letra, pero en realidad pues no tenemos eh, un patrón para seguir. So they just change. So now please repeat. Do, did. Do, do did. did. Do, did. Get up, got up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Got up. Go, went. Go, go, go went. went. Meet, met. Meet. Met. 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 Come, came. Come, came. Come, came. 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 Have, had. Have, 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 had. Had. Okay. So let's add some other verbs to the list. So let's see. tell me what are the activities that you do daily? Your daily routine. So what is something you do daily? Let's see. For example, the first thing we do in the morning is to wake up, right? So we wake up in the morning. And after we wake up, what do we do? Walk well, to my dog. Walk your dog. Okay, that could be. Walk, I, have, I have a breakfast. Have breakfast. Very good. Go to the supermarket. Okay. Go work. Have breakfast, lunch, or dinner, right? Stay so work. Um, the other one was go to the supermarket, right? Go work. Go to the supermarket, go, go, to, to work. go to the work. Yes. Take a shower. Tomar una Exactly. Take a shower. Mm -hmm. What else do we do on a daily basis? Look the cell phone. Check the cell phone. Yes. Check the cell phone. Mm -hmm. Any other thing? How about Check the email? Check the email. Very good. What is it? Oh, to make a prayer. Make a prayer. Mm -hmm. 
Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make a prayer would be hacer una oración. Una oración like to God, right? Yes. <laughs> Any other thing? Yes, brush my teeth. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's keep it like this. Now let's change the verbs to the past. Do you know the past of wake up? Yes. Sí. Okay, sí. let me tell you, it's woke up, woke up. Mm -hmm. And the past for have breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Had, right? Yeah. Had breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Okay, then we have walk the dog. What would be the past? Walked. Walked the dog. Very good. Thank you. Go to the supermarket. What's Went to the supermarket. Went to the supermarket. Went to the supermarket. Go to work. Went to work. Went to work. Take a shower. So, what's the pass of take? Okay. Take. 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 Yeah, it's irregular. Take. It becomes Take. regular. Take. 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 Yes, very good. Check the cell phone. Check. 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 Check the cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Okay. The same goes check. for check the email. Check. Check the email. Check the email. Okay, make a prayer. What's the pass of make? It, make it. It's irregular, so any ideas? It's made. Made a prayer. Made a prayer. a prayer. Okay, brush my teeth. Brushed my teeth. Okay, pretty well. Oh, let me just add here. Um, well, after we wake up, we get up, right? So waking up is when we open our eyes, we're sleeping, then we wake up, and then when we uh, go out of bed, that is when we get up, right? Get up. And the past would be got up. Wake up sería despertarse, get up, levantarse. Teacher. Come. Spanish, come. Come. Which one? Come. Come. Spanish. Come. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Venir. Ven. Oh. Come, like come here, right? Come, here. come here. Venga, come here. Venga para acá, right? Come here. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's continue practicing. Here I have some other verbs. Let's see. Do you know the past form of the verb begin? No? Okay. Began. 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 Begin. Began. ¿Y el significado? ¿The meaning? Empezar. Comenzar. Yes. Comenzar. Exactly. Next one. Tengo una confusión de ese y convertí. Sorry, can you repeat that? Tengo una confusión de ese con convertir. Oh, really? La palabra convertir es... So why? Why? What happens? No sé. Creo que se escribe casi igual. No sé. Begin. Begin. I don't know. How do you say convertir? 
in English. I don't, I don't, I don't remember. But I, I confused with the convert. Yes. Or change, switch. Also, but no. Or maybe it's another word. Yes, it's another word, but e. Um. Do you know how to spell it? No, I have a, a a list about this this word, but I don't I don't remember what what happened uh, with it. Oh, okay. So if you want, um, you may look for it and then you ask me. Okay, we can check it. Okay. Yes. All right. So let's continue with the verb break. What's the past form? Break. Break. Broke. Broke. Break. Broke. Break. Broke. Break. Break. Broke. Okay, then we have build. 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 The past build. Is build. 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 Then we have build. Buy. Oh, and do you know the meaning oh. of build? Build. Build. What's the Build. meaning of this? Construir. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. So now the verb buy. What's the past? Bow. 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 Okay. Then we have catch. Cow. 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 Cut. Cut. Cow. Very good. Next one is choose. Choose. Chose. 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 Then we have cut. 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 It remains the same, right? Cut, cut. cut. Draw. 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 Very good. Drink. 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 Drive. Drink. Drive. Draw. 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 Exactly. Draw. Fall. Fill. Fill. Fell. Fell. We pronounce it fell. Okay, fall, fell. Then we have feel. Feel, 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 felt, 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 find, find, found, 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 forget, 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 very good, forget, give, gave, 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 here. Here. Haired. No. 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 Mm -hmm. New. 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 Lose. Lose. Lost. 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 Pay. 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 Read. 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 So it's read. the same word, but read. we pronounce read. it differently. Read. 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 The red. one red. in the past sounds just like the color. Suena <clears throat> como el color. Red. Read. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have ride. What's the past? Road. 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 Run. Run, 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 right? Run. So the difference in pronunciation, run. well, this one is with a closed mouth, run, run. run. This one run. is run. open run. mouth, run, run. 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 Con run. esta debemos pronunciar muy bien la A con la boca abierta, run. right? Run, 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 run. 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 Okay, very good. Next one is say. 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 And in the past it becomes? 
about the meaning of any of those verbs or the pronunciation if you want to to repeat any of those no all right fine so let's see um yeah we got a couple of minutes so let's try to practice so we are going to make sentences and questions using the following prompts so here you have a subject you and you have a verb in the complex. So we have eat cookies yesterday. Can you make a sentence in the affirmative, in the simple past? We are making a sentence in the past. So it would be you. You eat. In the past? What's the past of the verb eat? Eight. Eight. Very good. You, you ate, ate cookies yesterday. You ate cookies yesterday. How about the negative? You didn't eat. You didn't eat cookies or yesterday. Eat. You didn't eat. You didn't eat. Right. Eat. Then eat. eat cookies yes. yesterday. Uh, verb, exactly. The verb negative in the present. For auxiliary. Exactly. Yes, that's right. Okay, so we say you didn't eat cookies yesterday. And now let's make the question. The yes no question. Did did, did you eat cookies yesterday? Pretty good. Did you eat cookies yesterday? Excellent. Now the second one. They drank milk this morning. Affirmative? They drank milk. They drank they milk. They drank. They drank. This morning. Very good. The negative. They didn't. They didn't drink milk this morning. They didn't drink they didn't. milk this morning. Very good. Yeah. The question. How does it go? Did they? Very good. Did they drink milk this morning? All right, that's great. So that will be all for today's class. Do you have any questions or doubts? No? Everything's clear? Okay. So have a nice weekend. Remember to continue practicing the platform. By now, we should have finished. Well, by Monday, we should have finished unit, um, I mean, section four, okay? So please keep on working on section four. If you are in section five, that's perfect, okay? Take care. Uh, and also remember, we do not have a class on Monday. El lunes no tenemos clase porque es feriado, ¿verdad? No tenemos clase. So see you on Tuesday. 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 Monday now. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Take care. Good night. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. bye. bye.